This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to configure home folders for Active Directory user accounts in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. Home folders and My Documents make it easier for an administrator to backup user files and manage user accounts by collecting the user's file in a one location. If you assign a home folder to a user, you can store the user's data in a central location on a server and make backup and recovery of data easier and more reliable. So for this demonstration, we have a one Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Domain Controller and already I log in as an administrator on this domain controller. First of all, let's open File Explorer. On a D drive, let's create the one folder. Let's give a name, Home Folders. The next thing we need to do is uh, share the folder so we can make it available on a network. And to do that, just right click on the folder, select properties, click on sharing tape, click on advanced sharing and select this checkbox for share this folder. Next you need to choose the name of the share. We will use the default name and uh, that is home underscore folders. When I set home folder, I like to keep uh, root folder hidden. So let's create this share as a hidden share by putting dollar sign at the end of the share folder. Now let's uh, click on permission. Now here as you can see, everyone have a read only permission. Let's give it to full control. So now everyone have a full control. Let's click on apply and OK. Here you can put a comment. So you can identify we created the share folder for storing home folders data. Let's click on apply and OK. Now we need to set up file permission. So let's uh, click on the security tab. Let's click on advanced. We need to remove inherited permission because as you can see domain users have a read and execute permission as well as they have a some kind of special permission as well. And this will be inherited on individual home folders and we don't want that. So let's click on disable inheritance. Let's select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. Now let's uh, select users, click on remove and again select users entry and click on remove. Now let's uh, click on apply and OK. Let's again click on sharing tab and let's copy the network path. Let's click on close. So we have successfully created one uh, share folder for home folders storage location. Let's minimize this and let's move to active to users and computers console. Here you can see we have a total five users test user 1 to test user 5. Select all users and right click on it and select properties. Let's click on profile tab. Select home folder. Select connect radio button and from this drop down menu select the drive letter which you want to assign. Let's select drive letter H. Now here let's paste the path of the share folder and then you have to specify slash percentile username percentile where percentile username percentile is a variable for user logon name. Let's click on apply. Click on OK. Now let's select test user 1. Double click on it. Let's click on profile tab and here you can see the home folder path is ws2016-dc01 slash home folders and slash user1. That is the name of our user's logon name. Let's click on OK. Now let's move back to File Explorer. Let's double click on Home Folders and here you can see we have a total 5 folders. User 1 to User 5. Let's select User 1, right click on it and select Properties. Let's click on Security tab. And here you can see Test User 1 has full control on this folder as well as Administrator also. Let's click on OK. To test home folders for our activity user account, we have to log on to our client computer. So we have our one client computer, Windows 10 VM, and this computer is also part of our activity domain. Let's log in as a test user one on this computer. Let's click on other user, specify username, user one, and his password. Okay, let's open my computer. 
and there you can see his or her home folder under network location. Now user can create files and folders under this folder. Let's create one folder. Let's create one uh, file. Now let's uh, move back to our server. Let's open user one folder. And here we can see we have a same data as the user created on our Windows client computer. So now user can access their data from uh, any machine on your network and administrator can easily back up data from this home folders folder. I hope this video will uh, helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching this video.